Okay, peeps. So today we're going to be talking about the clip dividend announcement that just came in in September of 2023. Let's get it. So um, the first thing that I want to mention is that some of these websites that you pop onto to see what the dividend payment is, is not going to show anything. So let's head over to the uh, K-Web clip or Crane Shares China Internet um, basically website here where it shows the different ETFs that they have. As you can see, we got clip here. Click on distributions. I find it kind of interesting that this is the actual website where they display the information like this is where the actual ETFs metrics are being placed by the actual company that trades this stuff. But for some reason, the dividend is not showing up here. So that's a bit odd. As you can see, the 27th is today. Uh, scroll up a little bit. You can see that the X date is on September 27th. The payment date will be on the 29th, but there is no dividend payment. So that's a bit odd. So if I go over here to trading view, you guys can see we got the upper hand here. The distribution came out slightly lower, unfortunately. Um, probably part of the reason why is because the markets have been slowly going lower. You see, we got 835, 832, 834, so mostly flat, but then we had this. If you look real close, you can see we had like this little gap down here, so that probably didn't help. Um, I'm sure that was part of the distribution was paid out as a result of this gap down. So we're at 74 cents, uh, or basically 74 and a half cents. That's actually not that bad. So the um, reason I'm going to say that is because the only yield max ETF in the month of September that has actually paid us more per share than Clip is NVIDIA. So you can see here that NVIDIA has the highest distribution rate currently. Tesla's second in line. Um, the rest of these got cut quite a bit, maybe with the exception of Enfly and AMZ, they paid pretty well. Uh, we don't we don't have any of the uh, new ones yet. You guys can see that they just came out with PayPal and AMDY. But if we click on NVIDIA, And we scroll down a little bit. You guys can see the most recent payout was 92 cents. The first distribution was pretty similar to what we're getting paid on Clip right now. So Clip is actually doing pretty good. <clears throat> and we we'll click on te uh, Tesla currently. You guys can see that Tesla's most recent payout was actually lower than Clip's payout. It's going to be this month. And we'll take a look at one more example. So another one would be OARC, which is one of my personal favorites. Uh, you can see that the yield here is 33%, which is still pretty good. Um, you know, in terms of a dividend paying stock or options premiums for those people that need to be politically correct. Uh, so we got 36 cents here on the distribution. That's still pretty good. But again, that's only roughly about half of what Clip is currently paying. So let's take a look at something else here. So on the clip website, you guys can see that the net assets has grown. It's almost 80 million now. Um, if we take a look at the historical data, it has only ever gone down over time. But if we took a look at K web, there is a reason for that. So as you guys can see pretty much since, um, this was actually before the Fed even started raising rates, so I'm not really sure what happened here. Maybe maybe the Chinese Communist Party decided they were going to start tightening economic conditions. I'm honestly not sure. Maybe these were the, uh, the virus that I can't name here is lockdowns in China. Um, and as a result, this started happening. So, But you have to understand, K-Web has not always gone down. I mean, pretty much between uh, the end of 2018 to... February 2021, this thing almost tripled in price. So it went from 37.50 up to about 90 bucks. <clears throat> so as you can see, the net assets here is about 6 billion. So there's a lot of people that are invested in this, in the underlying um, index, which is K-Web. It tracks the largest Chinese internet and tech companies in China. And for those of you guys that don't know, China has the largest population on the planet. They have about 1.5 billion people. So that's a lot of people using the internet. 
Um, so the volume is pretty heavy. You can see that you get between 5 million and 18 million shares traded. So there's that. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to show you guys is what our actual, <clears throat> excuse me, what our actual share count is. So again, you can see on Webull, uh, it shows 74 cents. So we did get to see this here. It did not pop up on Robinhood for some strange reason. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just not seeing it here. Usually it'll say like a pending dividend or something like that, but there's nothing here that shows that. So if we click on this, uh, you guys can basically see that all the contributions that we've made. And the last time we got paid the dividend was basically at the last of it, the end of last month. So there's that. So um, we're going to go ahead and show you guys how much we're going to get paid from this. So we get 144 shares or 144.98 shares plus 184. So we times that by the current rate, which is uh, 74.7.747. So we're going to make just shy of about 250 bucks this month. So, I mean, that's pretty good, all things considered. A lot of the old max dividends, um, option premiums payouts have had uh, quite a few cuts, pretty much all with the exception of NVIDIA this month. But again, you guys have to understand. If we take a look at the markets, and you, you guys know on this channel we always do that because it's always important to take a look at the underlying. Um, again, the stock market is a market of stocks. Okay, the stock market is not one entity. The S&P 500 is made up of the 500 largest companies in the United States, which includes things like Tesla and NVIDIA and Apple and Microsoft, a lot of the um, underlying stocks that YieldMax makes ETFs on. But you guys can see that we've pretty much basically just been getting kind of hammered on the uh, SPX here. So kind of sucks, not going to lie. But um, September is usually a pretty bearish month. If we scroll back here, you guys can pretty much see that. Um, oh, this is the four-hour chart, my bad. So you got your September dump here in 2023. You guys can see... Uh, back here, this was when the Jackson Hole Symposium took place last year. That happened and then the market pretty much fell off a cliff. Uh, from August to October, about the middle of October, you can see here that we... <laughs> okay, hold, hold on a second. So, uh, yeah, you guys can see here that we dropped a lot. We dropped like roughly about 19% um, between August and October. And again, you got a drop here in 2021. Even during a bull market, we had a pullback in September. Uh, again, during 2020. And again, back here, we had a little tiny baby pullback in September of 2019. So it's pretty standard in terms of uh, seasonality for mainly September to be bearish. But you, you sometimes you'll get like the back half of August and the first half of October, uh, depending on how the markets choose to react to what's going on. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below if you guys own Clip, if you're bullish on Clip or not bullish on Clip, either way. Hope you all enjoyed this content. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you all later. Peace.